Hey, it's Matthew Versteeg with iAutomate, and we are back with the Schema Localizer plugin setup. And I wanted to show you a little more on how the plugin actually works. Okay, so we're at this form where you're going to fill out all the data to make your schema markup. But I wanted to show you a little bit of how the plugin actually works so you understand when you're setting it up uh, what's happening behind the scenes, okay? So you're going to see there's all these input forms, right? And this is all things you're going to put in in order to generate your schema, or at least some of this depending on what your goals are. But one thing I want you to see is at the bottom where you can generate HTML or a short code for your entire form or some sections of the form, okay? So what is the difference, okay? HTML you're going to use in a widget or like a sidebar or a footer, somewhere where you can actually paste the code. You can use HTML within your page editor as well, okay? So like this, for if you're newer to WordPress, this is your editor, okay? This is actually where you can type, right? Just like Microsoft Word or something, right? You can go ahead and edit all this, and that's your text, okay? Whereas your code, you would need to put that in you know, this area or in a sidebar or a footer or somewhere else, okay? So you have the option to choose whether you want to use HTML or a short code. Here's how I use them. If I'm just putting it in the page editor, I will use the short code because that's really the only place you can use a short code with this plugin in WordPress. If you're going to put it in any kind of a footer or widget or somewhere outside of this editor, uh, you'll want to just use the HTML option and it will just give you all of the code. You'll just need to copy it and paste it. So you don't need to learn how to code. You just have to fill out this form and select what option that you want. So typically I'm just using the short code because I do a lot of multi-location SEO and I want that code just in the editor on that page. But if you're doing a single business, one location, the HTML option is great because you can grab it and put it right in the footer of your website or a sidebar of your website, and that way it'll automatically appear on every page of the website. So just one note there, if you're doing multi-location SEO, do not put your code down in the footer. Do not put it site-wide because even if you have five locations or ten locations, uh, you're going to confuse Google because on each page you're going to have five or ten different businesses marked up and it's going to be very difficult for Google to tell which of those is the priority, which one you really are talking about, and which one you want that page to rank for. So stick with one markup per page, one location per page, all right? And that is all basically for how the plugin works. Next video, we're going to come back. I'm going to show you what to put in all these fields here and how this all works, okay? And we'll start with the local business type. So we'll be back with that.